Everybody has a different reason for getting permanent gold teeth. What was yours? Well, I just felt like I didn't have the time to be taking stuff in and out my mouth. If you're going to do it, I'm just do it right. Just put them in. On, when I'm ready to take them out, I'll go back and get them removed. What age were you when you got them? Well, I actually had six gold teeth at the top and six at the bottom. I had got those did when I was like about 20 years old. I had like two or four of them in high school. Then I had recently, like three or four years ago, took six of the golds out at the top and went and got my diamonds did by um, Johnny Dang in Texas. Now, what was the reason for the upgrade? It's just, you know, um, everybody in my city was having gold teeth, even the young folks. So it was more like uh, putting diamonds in was just showing your progress in what you was doing at the time. Now, your initial gold teeth, mm -hmm. um, how long does a process like that take? Um, it just depends on how many you get in at a time. Like, is it like a one appointment type of thing? Is yep, it? yep. You go early in the morning. Um, they measure your teeth. They give you a set time to come back in the afternoon. I had went back. It took probably like I had got like eight did at one time. Six at the top, two at the bottom. So they had to shave each teeth down, put the gold over it. So it took about probably like thirty minutes to an hour. Painful? Yeah, because you got to get, it's like two shots they got to shoot in your guns per tooth. When you look in the mirror for the first time after getting them, mm -hmm. what, were your, what were your thoughts? What was going through your head? Oh, I loved it. I just felt like uh, the women was going to love it when they see it. Now, was the difference, uh, was there a difference or was it the same procedure with the diamond upgrade? No, see, actually in Texas, uh, they don't shoot you in your gums. I had, when I went to Texas, I had my gold still in. They actually took my gold out there, measured my teeth. I came back a few days later and they just see me and they don't man. Now, Johnny Dang is the jeweler. Yep. And is he, is he actually doing your teeth as well? Like, is he actually the dentist doing the dentist thing for it nah, or is there somebody else that nah, did it? No, it was somebody, um, when I went, it was somebody else who had actually measured my teeth and I can't tell you the process of when they actually did the diamonds in, inside the gold. But when I came back, it was another guy who actually cemented them in. So it was a dentist that worked in conjunction with Johnny? Or, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it wasn't like two separate things. You see the dentist first, then you see the nah. jeweler. It's They're both working together side by side. It's yeah. a joint effort. Yeah. What'd you think about that? What'd you think about the upgrade? Um, I love the upgrade. Like, when I get a chance, I'm gonna go take the gold out at the bottom, put more diamonds in. I was just gonna ask you, why yeah. didn't you just do diamonds at the top and bottom simultaneously? Because I, I was trying to um, do something different. You know, everybody in my city was, if they got diamonds at the top, they put diamonds at the bottom. Or if they put gold at the top, they put gold at the bottom. I just was trying something different. I was like, I'm going to keep my gold at the bottom for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Give it that different look. Yeah. What's the reaction you get to the different look? Um, it actually depends on where I go. Like, in my city, it's so many people doing it, so it, at, at the time, it was a big reaction because it was, it was probably like maybe five people in my city that had diamond teeth. So when they first were seeing it, everybody just caught on. It was a new wave, so now you got a lot of young folks putting diamonds in their teeth now. I don't know if they diamonds real, but you know, they, they putting it in their teeth now. People were emulating your look, diamonds at the top, gold on the bottom? Yeah, I, I, I caught a couple people doing that. I caught a couple folks doing that. Now, how much does something like this cost? Uh, it depends on 
what type of diamonds you get put in, um, the setting of your diamonds. I uh, personally, I pay only forty five hundred just for the top for the diamonds, and I paid another almost two thousand dollars for just the gold at the bottom. But it was two separate people who actually did it. We got a uh, Dr. Little in Mobile, Alabama. He actually um, do our gold, which is like two hundred and fifty dollars a tooth. So you know, uh, it's just different prices, I guess, wherever you go to. Cause the gold was real cheap when I went to Texas. The gold was super cheap in Texas. And I'm sure there's also a factor where gold and diamonds can fluctuate in price at yeah. the time you get it. Yeah, because um, like I said, I had paid $250 per tooth with the gold. When I went to Texas and they took the gold out, you know, they'll actually buy your gold teeth from you. Mm. But it was probably like, like $25 or $50 a tooth that they wanted to give to you for that. So I just kept my gold teeth. I kept them. Have you done anything with them? No, nah, I still got them at home right now. You have options. Yeah. I mean, you know, when they take them out, they kind of fuck them up, too. Because they put, like, a little tool in your mouth and it being the gold up. So, I mean, you can't actually get the same ones put back in. You will have to just go get them all the way redid. But you can melt the gold and... Melt it down, probably get, like, a charm made or something like that. Now, when it comes to gold teeth, uh, different regions of the United States where people get their teeth done, it can look different. Yeah. yeah For it example, look, it look, go ahead. It look, it look real different. Like in Mobile, uh, our gold teeth actually is made how our teeth is shaped. Then you got um, like in Florida, they gold teeth is actually like round at the top. And in New Orleans, they gold look different than our gold. So, you know, it's just like different places you go to, it's going to look different. The shade of gold will look different. Uh, the, 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 the form of the tooth will look different. All that. Now, um, when it comes to pull-out grills, and you made a statement uh, earlier in the uh, interview where you said uh, you don't want to worry about Taking yeah. them on, off, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, you wore grills at one point in your life? Um, yep, I actually had a grill. I was probably like 14, 14, 15 when I had a grill. Now and that was just basically like just doing something to see how to actually look. Now that you have permanent gold teeth, how do you look at people with pull-out golds? Um... I can't see how they do it. I mean, I mean that's something in my city. They you you get talked about when uh, you know. I mean, it's just oh, we don't really too much do the pull lights. We don't do the pull out. Can you tell the difference between a pull out gold grill versus permanent gold teeth? Oh, uh, kind of, sorta. It depends on who you go to and get it done. Like. I done seen people go and get pull-out grills did from Johnny or somebody in Texas, and it actually looks like separate teeth. That's how you know when it's real or not, because a grill is going to look like all the teeth connected, and, and it just don't look right to me. That's why I, I would not wear it. We talked about the reaction you received in your city to your, your combo, the diamond teeth with the permanent gold set there. Mm -hmm. um, but what's the public reaction you get maybe from strangers outside of your city, maybe outside of your state? Oh, uh, man. Uh, man, I done had some crazy reactions to it. Uh, I actually can go like in a store or somewhere and be talking to a person they be like, oh my God, I can't believe you. Is those real diamonds? Or a little kids it just be just just be so shocked of it, like they never seen it. What about women? Do you notice a difference in women that may be attracted to you because of your permanent 
diamond teeth, permanent gold teeth, versus when you didn't have the perms? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've always been the type of uh, person anyway, like, I guess you can say the, the, the pretty boy thing. So females always been attracted to me. But it's, it's like a lot of people in my city get stuff like this to attract women. Because it's like the gold, okay, you might be doing a little something. You got diamonds in your mouth, you might be doing a little more than what somebody else doing. So it's like the what you got in your mouth uh, basically show like what type of stuff you're doing, what, how much money you're getting and stuff like that. A sign of wealth. Yeah. Now, one thing I didn't hear you talk about at all when it comes to the reaction in the public that you get mm -hmm. is discrimination, is stereotyping, oh, is profiling. That, I mean, now that's crazy. Like, for somebody who doesn't have anything in their mouth trying to go get a job or go do this or get pulled over, the police might just look at them and might let them go on just because it, uh, they don't have nothing in their mouth. Because it's, it's, it's a big thing in my city. So the police might pull you over, you got diamonds in your mouth, you got gold. Or they want to tear your car up. They know you selling dope and shit out your car. Or, or they want to put you on the curb for an hour, let the sergeants and shit come out there and tear your car up and bring dogs and stuff. It just, if, if, if you got it in your mouth and the police pull you over, you selling dope or something. And not being racist, white folks look at you crazy, you a thug, and all type of shit. I just don't give a fuck, though. I just wanted it, so. You named a couple different experiences. Has there been a worst experience, though, dealing with these feelings because maybe um, of your teeth? I mean, not really because all of that shit been the same to me because, I mean, I used to have longer hair than what I have now. I got a lot of tattoos, gold teeth, diamonds, so all that shit before the diamonds came, I, I was stereotyped anyway. So it just, I got used to it. I just try to stay out their way. You have facial tattoos. Mm -hmm. Do you think, I mean, you have dreads as well. Do you think, okay, with the dreads, with the teeth, with the facial tattoos, do you feel like one of those uh, draws in more of the discrimination? Yeah, my tattoos. Tattoos is like, they look at you, oh, he got tattoos in his face. They don't even know what the shit mean, but they might just say, like for instance, I got a cross or a star in my face. They might think I'm gang banging because of the star or the cross, I might have killed somebody or all type of shit. Like, they just look at you different. They look at you real different, look at you crazy. Any regrets? Nope, I have no regrets. If no I could, regrets with the teeth? Nope. I, I didn't figure you did, but I wanted to ask you anyways. I mean, yeah. I didn't figure you did because you went from gold to diamond, and now yeah. you're thinking about doing the other half diamond, so. Yeah. I mean, you know, eventually when I get older, I'll probably take all this shit out of my mouth and just get my teeth back right, but for us for right now, shit, if I could, I'm going to put all, all, every single tooth in my mouth going to have diamonds in it. 